Hi, it's Stephanie. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am just checking in. I have so many things I want to share with you that's coming up in my channel. We've got some plans for future trips. We just came home from a trip that was awesome. And you're going to see a little bit more of hubby coming up soon in my videos. Also, just a variety of things that I wanted to talk about. But first, I want to apologize. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I made a commitment to my YouTube channel to post every Tuesday and every Friday, and it's only been a couple of weeks, and I've already failed <laughs> miserably. So today is Saturday, and I'm going to try and post this today, but I didn't post yesterday on Friday, which I'm supposed to do, because I made a commitment. But you know what? I played hooky instead. So I am sorry. I'm still committed to my Tuesday, Friday, and some in between maybe more in between. I've got a lot of things I want to get out, but I missed Friday and I'm very sorry. So I, please forgive me. I had a good reason. At least I think it's good. We played hooky and we were supposed to be gone three days, which would have got me home Thursday. Plenty of time to do a video for Friday. I had a video in mind, everything going smoothly and we had too much fun. So we stayed gone an extra day and I can't regret it because it was too awesome. We went camping, glamping, camping. It was pretty rough, so I'm gonna say camping. Although whenever I'm in my pop-up tent trailer, it feels glamping because it's so pretty. We went to an amazing place and camped on a cliff over the ocean and how could we leave? I wish I was there right now. I could almost smell and hear and see. It was so awesome. I'm gonna do a video on that and show you the whole thing, but it was awesome. And we had too much fun. We just like didn't want to come home, neither one of us. <laughs> but we were unplugged and that's hard. And I just got to say, a lot of times people go camping and they want to be unplugged, but we don't. We don't want to be unplugged. We like being in touch with our business, in touch with our family, and just kind of keeping in touch with everything. So being unplugged was hard, but it was still nice. I mean, when you're sitting there and nothing's dinging and you can't check anything, you just have to relax and enjoy yourself. So we did, but I would still have preferred the internet and cell signal. We were able to drive maybe, you know, 15 minutes down the road. So we checked in a couple of times a day at least, but it's not the same. Being unplugged, not my first choice. I way rather have the comforts of the internet. I almost will give up everything if I could just have the internet. Well, not the toilet. I definitely want the toilet. And we had a shower. We had a shower, toilet, and running water, but not yet every camp spot. You had to walk over to one spigot to get the water. So this was definitely boondocking. Dry camping, no amenities. Well, it can't be completely dry. We had water <laughs> and a shower, which our trip before the four, a couple trips back, we didn't have the showers, which, ugh makes so all the difference. So just a few things about that trip. Um, if you haven't seen my packing video, which I did just before this trip, wow, some of those things that I threw in, like we stayed an extra day. So my bonus outfit was very helpful. And I threw in at the last minute a couple of things for cold weather, like a headband that I wore every day because it was so windy that those packing tips were really helpful. And there was a scarf in there that I said everyone should have. I'm gonna post a video on that because that travel scarf is everything. It was just so handy. So those are just a few things to go with our trip. But I'm so glad to be home. I mean, the good and the bad. The bad is there's a lot of laundry and house cleaning to do. Not my favorite. The good is it was just nice to get back in my routine. Even the doggies were happy to be home. They they were happy to travel and they loved having our attention 24 seven, but they were you could tell they were happy to be home. I mean, they were sniffing the air the minute we were driving up our driveway. So they were happy and we slept good and just back into our routine. The bad is that hubby's back to working pretty much every day because that's what he does. And that's why I plan these trips once a month because it just takes him out and lets him recharge. And he definitely got that recharge, reinvigorated, re-excited about life, about business, about everything. It's just nice to just talk and just not talk, you know, just be. And so we're loving these trips. We're looking forward to planning more. And we're going to do a video on a review of our year glamping and camping and tell you some of our favorite things together and some of our plans for the future. So stay tuned for that. He has to be pinned down so that I can get him in a video, but he promises he will. 
it's just nice to be back in real life. You know, I miss my friends. I miss checking in with my family, my daughter, my grandkids. It was just like, I'm heading over there to see them right after I make this video. I miss them so much. It's nice to be away, but it's nice to come home. I'm also checking in on the 100 mile challenge. I'm doing really good. I got to up my miles with this trip. We did a lot more walking, so I kind of caught up a little bit. And so that was great. I'm keeping track on my Fitbit and I lost it. Of course, I found it. You can see that I have it, but I lost it. I was so panicking, so panicking. I just really didn't want to lose it. It's just, I can tell the time. I tell when I get a text and I can also tell how many miles I'm walking from my 100 mile challenge. So I'm so glad that hubby found it. It had just fallen off in the car. This is my new Fitbit band, which is kind of cool because it's got this nice wrap around fashion-y thing and it's got a buckle. So this one will not fall off. This would be great for camping because I'm just more rough on it when I'm camping. You know, I was loading and unloading and things in the car and it just fell off. So this one will stay on super cute. So where I'm at with my um, 100 miles, I'm 46 miles towards my 100 and that's before Thanksgiving. I am definitely taking off a few miles every day um, for just the walking around the house and stuff. So I'm not counting my ultimate number. That's after I take off one mile a day for just walking around the house and stuff. Probably should be closer to one and a half, but one is easier with math. So 46 minus already the one, so 46 miles extra on my journey to 100 miles. That's where I'm at. I'm definitely not up on my water. I've got to up that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a video I just did on the 100 mile challenge, a bunch of us here on YouTube, and we're all doing this together. We're all walking. So it's at your own pace, no pressure. If you want to join in, I will put a link in the description so you can go and see the host which is D Lovely Life and Everyday Wife Life. And they are just so nice. They've created this really comfy community that I am in love with. And so we are all just kind of encouraging each other. So it's a happy, warm, comfy place to come walk. There's a Facebook group and YouTube videos every Saturday, which is today, so that's why I'm rushing to get this in. And we're all just checking in with each other. So come and join us, there's plenty of time. And for all of us, we're pretty much all planning on continuing the new habits that we're forming for this even after the challenge is over. So it's just a way to kind of build your walking stamina, get it going more. That's my plan anyway. I also wanted to kind of just give you some plans for the future, what I have coming up on my channel, in case you're wondering. I'm definitely gonna do a video on our cliff camping spot. It was so cool. It was just what we wanted. And we had a lot of challenges, but we overcame them, and I will give you that in another video. I mentioned that we're gonna do a year in review, me and hubby together, so we'll tell our both our favorite spots and some of our hardships and some just basically tell you our year in review and plans for the future, what we both wanna do. I wanna talk about fall fashion, so I'm gonna do a video on bringing my clothes out from packing. I packed them away with an experiment, and I'm gonna tell you more about that, how I'm actually finding out what I'm actually wearing and what I'm not, because that was crazy. When I did this experiment, I sort of found out I'm not really wearing all my clothes. And I don't know, maybe that's something you might want to look at too. So I'm going to do a video on that. And this will be a really interesting kind of finishing the experiment and seeing if that really helped me in some way. So that's coming. Fall fashion, getting my clothes out, getting ready for winter. It's already cold here. So I'm ready for that. We lit our first fire. <laughs> Of the season so we do a lot of wood heat in our house we're up in the mountains and wood heat is preferred it's nice and soft heat all i have gas heat but we lit our first fire so that's a signal winter's coming fall is here oh so i haven't maybe told you what kind of cluttery pack rat i am but it's really bad really bad and i hate to even admit it but i'm really determined to work on it and i'm seeing declutter videos here on youtube and it's inspiring me so i made one of my own decluttering videos and i'm redecorating my home office oh it's turning out so awesome i'm just so happy maybe now that i've fixed it up and made it cute i won't clutter it up again but watch for a video coming up on that i'm almost ready to show it it's just I'm excited. We still have camper upgrades that we're working on. Little things kind of keep going wrong. We have an older camper, so it's a constant thing. And we think of more things we want to do, things we want to fix. 
I'm also working on my new pillow chairs because my old ones are kind of wearing out. We, we use them a lot. Oh my gosh, they saved the day at this windy spot we were sitting at. The wind's blowing under our seats and just making us really cold. So we put the pillow chairs on there and it was like, ah, oh, nice and warm. So not just comfy, but also utilitarian. They made us warmer. And I'm making my very first pattern or instructions. So uh, hope that works out too. I'm hoping to have that really soon. I'm super close to having that done. I've picked out my fabric. I've already bought it. I've started my pattern. I'm going to follow my own pattern. I'm excited. So pillow chairs are coming. If you've been waiting for that, it's coming soon. And you'll want to get that ready for next season because it's just awesome to have. And so much more. Things are happening around here and I want to share them with you. And I'm looking forward to hearing how you're doing. Um, thank you so much for coming by and watching my channel. I really appreciate it. I just love the give and take here on YouTube and getting to know people. And I love watching other people's channels and seeing the comments. It's just, it's a fun place to be. And I'm enjoying it very much. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye.